what's up guys it's Dears here welcome back we are back here again with another episode of small talks small talks i think that was supposed to be i'm supposed to edit that in slow motion but i bet you it's not gonna be slow mo because i'm a lazy video editor i haven't had a small talks video in a long time uh, or even actually made a new video in a long time so for the last one you guys should check it out by the way i uh, went to disney world uh, with two of my close friends uh, during COVID. Um, was it stupid? Yeah. Was I safe about it? Yes. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. But uh, yeah, definitely check out that video. So anyway, if this is your first time coming across this channel or even seeing a small talks video, let me explain to you what small talks is about. All right, guys. So small talks is basically small talk. It's basically me talking to you about anything regarding photography so it's basically a way of kind of building up a discussion with the channel here so i'll talk about a subject i'll voice my opinions about it and then afterwards i would like to read your comments below you know like whatever your comments may say they may say like you know they disagree with my opinions or you might want to have more insight on my thought process on the subject anything 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 just to kind of the boost that type of community to this channel and just having you know people talk about anything uh regarding with photography and basically i will read all the comments i mean this is not a it's not a big channel so it's not like i'm gonna get a hundred or even like 500 comments on here that it's gonna take me forever to read everything no i'm probably gonna get three or five comments and i'm gonna read and answer and i'm probably gonna love every single comment because i'm a nice guy so guys, on this episode of Small Talks, um, we're going to discuss on the line of, do photographers really need to be obsessed over specs in order to be good photographers? And I want to tell you why I don't think you need to. This subject kind of popped up in my mind when I watched a video of one of my friends on YouTube. His name is David Sailors, the Georgia photographer. Definitely check out his channel. I have the link in, my, uh, in the, the bio below. All right, so definitely check that out. But yeah, I watched one of his latest videos. Um, he was just basically talking about kind of almost the same thing, but basically how photographers are so obsessed with like brands and you know who to shoot with. And that kind of brought up to me about something I've always been kind of thinking about too is that when I go on YouTube and I you know follow or I watch other uh, you know photographers or photo enthusiasts or whatever. Um, a lot of them are so obsessed about specs and what's inside the camera. And I feel like that kind, that kind of thought process kind of pulls people away of just wanting to pick up a camera and shoot. Because at the end of the day, that is what a camera does. That's what it does. At the end of the day, <clears throat> that is the result that you're trying to get, right? But specs do matter. Um, it's just that you shouldn't be obsessed about it. And with obsession, that word comes with a big package with it. And I think that's that's where the kind of the the uh, the thin line kind it, it, it kind of crosses that thin line of like you know being being creative with the product that you have in your hand. Because if you care about oh like does this camera does this? Um, does it cost this much? Oh, if it costs over two thousand dollars that must mean that this is the best camera that i get the thing is though yes all that stuff is going to be good for a time because eventually that's those specs are going to expire because something new is going to get better so does that you know does that tell me that okay if i don't have the latest you know latest and greatest equipment in my hands does that mean that i'm not going to be able to produce the photos that i want to produce no no <laughs> no I have the Fujifilm X-T20. That is a very old camera in the lines of the X-Series. But I take beautiful photos. People always ask me, what camera do I use? How do I edit those photos? How, how do those photos look so good? And I'm like, well, because I just use this camera that I enjoy and that's it. You know, I am eventually going to upgrade, but I don't upgrade every year. Like eventually I am going to get the X-T4 either by Christmas or early this year. I know I was supposed to have that earlier this year but the things that been going on um, that kind of got delayed but I'm still gonna get that camera and I feel like that is a good enough jump you know to where I'm going to enjoy whatever is in that body of that camera from the XT20 to the XT4 it's gonna be a big jump 
And then once I get the XT4, I'm probably gonna have it for a while, you know? But there's just so many people that are like, oh man, yeah, this, this camera can do that. Um, you know, this camera has, you know, um, uh, a faster auto focusing and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, that's great and all that. But if your camera can still auto focus, then it's still doing its job. And the thing I want to talk about and discuss with you guys is the fact that any new beginner photographers, I don't want you to go out there thinking that you can't shoot, you can't be a photographer because you don't have the funds to get, you know, this equipment that your favorite YouTuber has. And majority of those people that, that have those cameras, um, either A, they have sponsors that give it to them or they try them for a couple of days, um, or they just got money in their pockets. And not a lot of us are like that. I'm not like that. Um, so you just kind of got to work with what you got. Um, because I think the greatest spec to be a good photographer is right here. It's your noggin. Your noggin. Your noggin. Your noggin. I don't know why that just, I don't know why that, it just felt weird saying that. Your brain, your brain, your creativity that's, that's running around in here. That is your greatest spec right there. Because without this, it doesn't matter how good of a camera it is. If you don't know how to shoot, if you don't know how to get the angles, if you don't know the dimension that you're trying to shoot from, if you don't know, you know, the rule of thirds, um, if you don't know how to place your subjects in the environment, it doesn't matter. It's going to look crappy. It doesn't matter what you have. And like, you know, now with, these smartphones with like iPhones and stuff um, and Android. Uh, <laughs> um, th there's a lot of people who, who have like huge fans and followings on Instagram because they take these amazing like landscape photos with just click of a button on their phone. They don't really have to do too much on there. You know, they don't have to change the f-stop. They don't have to do that like what we have to do with our our DSLRs or mirrorless cameras. It's just it's just a simple click. So anybody can be a photographer if you have the mind for it, if you have the create creativity for it, you can you can do it. So I don't want you to feel bogged down that because you don't have the the the, the greatest specs that you can't be a good photographer. No, go out there and shoot. Buy a camera that you can feel that resonates to you at the affordable price lane, go ahead and take it out there and shoot. Practice on your friends and family, you know? That's it, that's it. I think just being obsessed over everything that's in these like small bodies of metal or plastic, I, I think people put too much, they put too much, what's the word? They put too much importance on it. And I don't think it matters. Now, where specs do matter, and you don't have to be obsessed about it, is the fact that like, you know, the XC4 is weatherproof. My XC20 is not. So if I do want a rainy shoot, or I want to shoot a landscape out there in the rain or something like that, or, you know, when it's drizzling, I don't have to be afraid of having this camera out there because I might lose it. Like that's something that, that is good to have because like that means I can be in this like harsh environment and know that my camera is going to be safe, you know? And then also, I look forward to the um, IBIS or IBIS, or however you want to say it. That's going to be the XT4. As a vlogger, that's something important that I need. You know, I I'm still vlogging with this camera or or a GoPro, but I feel like having that will enhance my videos. See, enhance. It's not it's not needed. Like I can vlog or film videos without it. You know, or you can just buy a gimbal. Um, but like th those, those are things that I look to and I have to calculate is like, is this worth the price? I'm jumping a huge series. The XC20 is basically um, a semi pro consumer camera. Um, XC20 was basically an offshoot or a sister to the XT2, which was the, the mainline pro professional like cameras there. And that's what the X-T4 is. So I'm jumping from semi to like an actual professional camera because I feel like the X-T20, I've gotten everything out of it that I could as a photographer when I was growing. This is the first camera I picked up to do professional photography. Um, and I feel like I've used everything that's in this camera. And I remember I watched a video too when I was trying to decide on what camera 
I wanted to get. I can't remember that actual video. I wish I did because I will link it below. But the, but the person said something very, very profound that resonated to me was that, um, you know, get a camera or, or, uh, or even use like a set of lens. Um, as you grow as a photographer, use it as much as you can, drain it out of all of its uses. Then, only then after you have done everything you could have with that, it's time to grow out of from grow out from that shell and then that's when you can go ahead and pick up some new equipment you know it can take two years three years or maybe one year for like for you to outgrow you know the equipment that you have at that time and then from there you go ahead and move on and then from there you can probably buy something that's um, you know way higher on the uh, the price range and then I think once you once you get to that, you'll be such a better person, a better um, photographer that everything that's in that camera, it's really going to benefit you because you have already pretty much perfected everything at that baseline of that of that camera from the previous one that you had. And then, you know, you have that for a while, because I'm pretty sure once I get the XT4, the XT40, XT5 is going to come out or a new brand series that's going to come out. You know what's going to happen? I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it because the XC4 is still very recently new. It just came out and it has everything that I want right now. That's it. Now, unless the XC5 can make holograms or something like that, or it can, I don't know, float in the air, then I'm not buying it. Okay. So, so yeah. So, um, yeah, that was basically it. I hope I felt like I entertained you at least about you know, being obsessed about specs and why you don't really need that to be a good photographer. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, I haven't done one of these in a long time, so it's kind of fun kind of like getting back into this to this mode because this does take, it does take something out of you to, to sit here in front of a camera, set everything up, sit down and and think of a topic that you want to discuss and being, a, being able to kind of communicate your thought process to you guys. That, it's work. It's work. And I see now why some people do YouTube as a job because it may look easy. I'm just sitting on my butt, but there's a lot of other things that go on beyond, you know, like how many takes I have to do or, you know, um, you know, talking to myself and being like, oh my God, what I just said, it just sounded stupid. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. I'm sorry. I didn't want to go all the way back into that. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Small Talks. Um, like I said, I would love to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment below. Tell me what you think of this. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? And then once you post it on there, make sure you like, hit the subscribe button, share this video to your friends and family who you think who it will benefit as well. Um, this is a growing photography channel, so I definitely would love to um, Bring in people who are trying to grow their photography careers as well, because I want us to kind of, you know, grow together, you know? So yeah, other than that, once again, guys, keep the dreams alive. Peace.